Today we're going to talk about one of the OG CG platforms, first launched in 2004. This website can be an amazing resource for 3D artists. And of course, I'm talking about 3D export. This awesome website houses all kinds of 3D assets, models, textures, plugins and elements and other things like 2D decals, SDRIs, materials and much more. So join me as we take a look at 3D export and go through the website and see what it can offer for artists and filmmakers. This video is brought to you by 3D export. So, first and foremost, we all know that there are a lot of other 3D platforms and storefronts and assets and asset platforms out there. The competition here can only help the user because the more the better. 3D export is also perfect for people or trying to make a living or just want to sell their art or assets. And it can be a perfect place to connect with other people, learn, sell, and buy all sorts of things. From high quality 3D models like aircraft, animals, architecture interiors and exteriors, cars, furniture, sci-fi, plants, landscapes, you name it. The website also has a ton of free 3D models that you can check out under the free models section. Other thing that the website provides are print-ready 3D models, which has a lot of categories. Furthermore, the website also offers textures, PBR materials, and so on. And the thing is, all these assets are compatible with all major 3D software and can be obtained in any format like FBS, DAE, OBJ, blend files, C4D, 3DS, and more. And this is not everything because 3D export also offers a job section where you can find a job offering from all around the world, mainly for designers and artists, like character artists, visualization specialists, concept and environment artists, and everything else in between. And while I didn't try this myself, it seems really promising, especially for people who want to dip their feet into the industry. And not to mention the easy views of 3D export. Literally in 5 minutes, you can set up your account and start selling your stuff on the website. Another great thing to see here is support, which is very responsive. This is one thing that I found a lot of people mentioning in all their reviews. The 3D export team is always right around the corner to guide you through just anything. And it feels like they are always happy to answer any questions that you might have. To sign up to 3D export, click the link down in the description or navigate to 3dexport.com. Hit sign up and register an account like any other website. Once you log in, you can either browse the asset library, check out any sales or maybe check out some job offerings. Or you can hit upload and create a new product. And we will try to walk you through how you can do that step by step. But first, I want to talk about the search function on the website because I think 3D export gets a lot of things right. While not the best looking website, I think it gets the job done really well. First, when you search for something, you get a breakdown with all the categories that hold your keyword. For instance, I searched for cars. So I got a number of assets and models available or items and the breakdown of all those categories and how many items. For example, car parts, sport cars, compact cars, trucks, SUVs, sedans, and so on. This might be just me, but I think it is pretty neat. But by far, the best thing in my opinion is the free products only checkbox. I can't recall how many times I tried to look for something on other marketplaces to not be able to filter only the free stuff. It was really frustrating, but thankfully, 3D export doesn't have this problem. You can just take this checkbox and all the models shown will be free. You can filter search as well, based on other parameters from the search filter menu. For instance, you can filter only animated models or low poly, or maybe tileable textures and so on. You can also look up stuff by format because there are a lot of formats we have from MPG videos to ZLT, which is ZBrush file format, and every other format under the sun, if I am not mistaken. And finally, you can filter based on relevance. But I just wanted to mention the free product only filter. Good job, 3D export. Now back to the upload. You can click upload to get the upload page. Here you can set up your product, give it a name, and upload preview images amongst other things. But first, you need to know how to prepare your model for upload. Nothing complicated, just simple guidelines, how to compress your model in a zip or RAR format, and try to keep it under 500 megabytes. 
if it is more than that, try to split it into different parts and avoid putting anything in archive other than the model. And if the model has textures, you can put them in a different archive separately. That's it. Give it a description name and you should be good to go. After uploading your archive, you can pick a category. Depending on which one you pick, you will get different parameters. For example, if you pick CG textures, you will get a list of secondary options like whether it is layered or not, or if the texture is tileable or not, in addition to resolution, etc. For 3D models, for instance, you can set polygon or vertices count, whether the model is animated or not, whether it is textured, UV mapped, as well as if it is rigged or not, and so on and so forth. You get the idea. You can give your product a name, and you can write a description, but you better keep it short and concise. There is also a keyword field, which will help people to find your products based on these keywords. And finally, you can set the price, minimum of 5 bucks, or you can offer it for free by ticking the free checkbox. And that's it. It is really simple. And I guess it is pretty much the same as any other 3D platform out there. But because it is me, I'm going to nitpick 3D export and talk about the UI. While it's not the worst I have seen, I think the UI can benefit from some cleaning up and making everything look readable and eliminating all the clutter going on. It is a long-standing tradition that online stores have to be cluttered, that online stores have to be a cluttered mess of buttons, text, and images, but that's about it. So if you are a 3D artist, a game developer, a designer, VFX artist, or anything in between, you can check out 3D Export by following the link in the description down below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.